A Fox 61 summer road trip continues today. and This time we are trekking across Hartford County. Keith and Margo are now at their last and final stop of the day. They're at the Connecticut Trolley Museum in East Windsor. It looks like they're about to take off, take off for a ride, right yeah. guys? You got your tickets? Y'all ready? Yeah, Erica and Tim, we do. Our tickets are ready. I have mine. Margo lost hers. No them. big we deal. They let her on. But what a treat. This place is great. So cool. And we are about to get underway here with an actual trolley ride. As you can see, we're on board with all of our favorite Fox 61 fans. Guys, give a wave to Fox 61. Woo! Yay! We are so excited. We were inside before. Now we may have saved the best for last. Ronald, one of the conductors here. What a special place. We're about to go for a ride. What should we know about this experience? Um, it's very unique. That's that's really in a in a nutshell. This you're going actually going back in time. Okay, this is the way it was, and we're actually going on the right of way that was uh, part of the um, Hartford Springfield trolley line. Okay, and uh, so we're really traveling back at the 1920s. All right, we're ready to go. A piece of history that we're seeing right here in our own backyard in Connecticut. And one thing that I've noticed is that this seems to be especially popular with the little ones. We've got Gary here, grandpa to these cute, adorable girls. You're on board. What do you like about this place so far? Oh, it's rich in history. It's part of our uh, culture and it was part of our economic engine for many, many decades. And it's, we need more of this. We need more public transit and more rail. And, uh, and we should learn from our history. Gary, your okay. granddaughters, one is five, the other is two. Uh, they might be a tad too young maybe for the history lesson here, but you worked in transportation for years. What's the takeaway for them? Well, I think it's good for mobility. The more folks we can put on a train or on a bus, we take less cars off the road. It's good for the environment if we do this right with electric vehicles, and it's the wave of the future. And uh, I hope sooner or later this country catch, catches up with Europe when it comes to uh, rail and public transit and mobility. Well, an experience I'm sure these little ones are sure to enjoy. You guys want to give a wave to Fox 61? Give a wave to the TV. There we go. <laughs> Ronald, quickly for you, how do people experience this for themselves? When are you guys open? What do ticket prices look like? Uh, ticket prices, I honestly don't know what they are because I don't pay attention to it. But, uh, um, you know, it's, it's a wonderful experience. And, you know, we, we do run in Winterfest. We actually run this car during the winter when it's really cold. And, uh, you know, it's a great experience. Exciting okay, to see so many like little ones out here. Bucket list. Yeah, CT bucket list stop for sure. If it's not on your bucket list, it sure should be. All right, good stuff. I think that the only thing getting in the way from us hitting the track is us wrapping up here. These folks, you ready to go for a ride? Everybody ready? They Thumbs are ready. up. Thumbs up all aboard. <laughs> all right, well, at the Connecticut Trolley Museum this morning, I'm Keith McGilvery. And I'm Margo Farrell, Fox, Fox 61, 61 News. News.